gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. They chase me after school. Welcome back to my channel, you dig? No shovel. So today we're on my couch, my lovely sheepskin leather uh, fur couch that is imported from Europe, you know. And today I wanted to do like a sit down video. I wanted to do like a mukbang style talking video where we talk about fashion. If you hear that scratch in the back, that's my dog. I don't know. I don't know. She just always make noise. I don't know what to tell y'all. But today's topic, I want it to be all about fall trends, fall fashion trends, what I like about fall, what I don't like about fall. Da -da 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 -da. And we got some food. Let's let's start with the sauce. Ooh, teriyaki sauce, chipotle ranch. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we got the meal. Like, come on. Come on. Look at it. It's buzzing. It's like, it's just good. I don't know. Let me calm down. It's just food. Let me just. Girl. Embarrassing. But like, yeah. This is what I got. I got it from. Where I get it from? I'm not going to tell y'all. <laughs> Find out for yourselves, okay? Okay. Now, I found this place called The Greatest, Greatest of Plates, I think. Greatest of Plates. Yeah. I it's actually called Mr. Everything. My bad. I'm a liar. I did already start eating a little bit because your girl was hungry and I was waiting for her for a little minute. Mmm. 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 Okay. Let's get into <sighs> into these fall trends. Okay. First of all, I don't even like fall. I don't like fall. Sorry, y'all. I don't really care for it. When it starts getting cold, I just start losing my mind. I... <sighs> I'm so stressed right now. It's just fall does just not give me fun vibes, you know? It just gives me, oh, I'm finna be cold, you know? Summer is, summer is where it's at. I'd rather be sweating than, like, have my, my, my fingernails all cold and stuff like that. Because, like, my nails, my, um, my hands get so numb so quick. Anyways, back to the fashion stuff. So, I don't like fall, really. It's cute, whatever, but I just don't care for it. When it starts getting cold, I just, it's just, it's just not a good sight for me. But first thing I'm gonna talk about are um those long coats with like the fur on the um on the shoulders. I do not be knowing the names of none of the like stuff because I don't know. I feel like I'm more of just a person that's just like, oh that's cute. I don't really get into the technical stuff. Maybe I should so I can be more educated. Mm. But yeah, like Long coats with the fur. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Look it up on your Pinterest. Look it up. Oh, let me show y'all actually. I guess I could just insert a picture on the screen, but I'm gonna just pull it up. Pull it up on my Pinterest. Cause I'm a I'm a Pinterest girly, you know? I be pinning. I'm really getting into my Pinterest bag right now. Y'all don't know, but I'm getting into it and I don't know. I don't know. I'm just in it. Yeah, this wasn't the vibe I was gonna. I was trying to go for, but like this is cute. You see that? This is cute, but that's not the vibe I'm talking about. I'm talking about the coast with the little. They got the fur on the sleeves and then on the collar, and it's so crazy because I feel like back when I was younger, you would not catch me dead in no type of long coat. I don't care how cute it was. I don't care what it was given. Long coat? No, I barely even wanted to wear a jacket because I always thought jackets was just lame. As a kid, who told us these things? Like we just made it up. We really just made it up. We were just like, yeah, let's just go with that. Wearing a coat is embarrassing. I know I used to hide y'all little puffer jackets y'all mom made y'all wear to school in them lockers because it was just so lame. But now I really realized like growing up that warmth is important and you don't have to look ugly to be warm. You Your coat can give cute. Your coat can give sexy. Your coat can give night out on the town. And you don't have to look like a oompa loompa doing it. You can look good doing it. I see. think that's the only reason why we didn't really care for wearing jackets when we was kids was because, like, we didn't know what we were wearing. We didn't know how to style a jacket. Well, maybe some of y'all did. I don't know. Some of y'all some of y'all do be dressing. I don't know. Y'all parents dress y'all pretty good. Good job. But I don't really know what I dress like as a kid. Not that that's important. But, yeah. So, that's the first thing. Really long fur coats are really it for me because even though I don't own one, I don't own a single long coat. But it's, it's in the works. Wait till I hit that thrift. I'm coming. I'm coming for it. You wanna go to the thrift store? I don't know. I look at the price of the jackets, I'd be like, oh no. 
This is not thrift store prices, so that always be scaring me away from actually purchasing them, but in the near future, hunty. But yeah, okay. Thing number two. People are saying that red is the color for fall, but like I thought that's always been the color of fall. So if you just now hop on that wave, you really late. You really taking that L. But that's just that's just me though. So I feel like people always want to pick and choose different colors for different seasons, but like, girl, I can wear red year round. Of course, red be you, and like when it's really cold outside, say it's snowing, you wearing red. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Never mind. I was hating. The fall, red might be the fall color. Hmm. You know what I mean? When somebody else has an opinion, I'm like, mm, girl, I don't know, girl. Let me let me marinate on it. Let me think about that for a little bit before I just sit here and be like, yeah. Yeah, girl. You're eating it and you're not eating it. Okay, so never mind. Red is cute. I love when girls do like the little skirt and then the red stockings. I want to try that. I feel like that's so cute. But I don't think I want to do like a really bright red. It would have to be like a faded. Not a faded, but I guess a thinner red so it doesn't look like as strong. A strong red, you know? Because I used to be such a neutral tone girly, but now... color i feel like i've matured you know not to say that neutral tones is not mature so don't try and cut that up and then say i said that i ain't say that but yeah mm. let me get my list i don't even know where it's at because my, my dog big body self just stomped all over everything hold on oh here you go How's Zoe B? Next on our ducket. Okay. Um, I just feel like what's next on here? Sunglasses. Now, I think everybody needs to own a good pair of sunglasses. I don't care if they're Lord Bay. I don't care if they're Dollar Tree. I got some good Dollar Tree sunglasses while we while we on the subject. So if you ever want some basic sunglasses, go to Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree, whether you a last sunglass hut girl, get you a nice pair of sunglasses because I just feel like. In the daytime, yeah, sunglasses for what? I'm still wearing my sunglasses in the daytime. But imagine nighttime. And you're getting out your car. And it's dark. And you're in your long coat with the little fur. And you got on a nice pair of shades. Come on now. You gonna be in a restaurant. They're gonna be like, ooh, she's so mysterious. It's like you're cozy. And you're still giving, you're still giving what needs to be gave. Because you gave it. It's like you're giving mysterious. But then you're also giving, oh yeah. I love that, you know? I love that for you. Sunglasses are a year-round thing, though, so. I don't know. I just saying I don't know, because I don't want y'all to be trying to... Y'all know how y'all be, you know? But, yeah. No. I'm standing on my opinion. I'm standing on it. This is me standing on my opinion. Because if I don't stand on it... I don't know, somebody else will something? But it's my show, so I should be the one standing on my own opinions. Exactly. 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 Um. I used to think cardigans were so ugly. I just used to think jackets were just so lame. And I feel like now I'm starting to learn that jackets are actually, they're in addition. They shouldn't. It shouldn't feel like a burden. Well, of course it's a burden to have a jacket on. Because it's like, oh, girl, I'm trying to show some skin. I'm trying to look sexy. Okay, I can't look sexy with a jacket on. But I'm learning to love it and live with it. And, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Hold on, y'all. Eat break. Let's just talk about owning a good pair of boots. I think boots, boots are it for me. I wear boots for the rest of my life. I don't even need sneakers, cause I'ma wear a boot. From Doc Martens to Steve Madden boots, whatever, them little furry boots the girls be wearing. I am one of those girls, so I do be busting out them furry boots because they're, they are so it for me. Like, let's talk about that. Fur is really, it's just really showing me that everything it was just so cute. Like, it's so many things back in, like, back when, not back in my day. I ain't, oh, I'm young and turn and sexy. But, like, back when I was younger, I was just like, oh, everything is just so lame to me, da 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 But I feel like now that I've gotten older, it's just like, I realized that it's just so much you can do with clothes. 
it's so much and it's so fun it's just like your own way of expressing yourself and i feel like more people should try to just express themselves through their clothing i feel like it's so fun you know it's just like i want to say it's like playing dress up but i don't want to say dress up because it's just like you in your clothes so if that makes sense like it's not a facade that you're putting on you you just you so i don't want to say it's dress up that's just you being you you just getting cute because you are cute but fur is really i love fur actually it's just so many different things that I'm seeing through the internet because the internet is actually showing me exactly how there's so many different ways you can stop people. A lot of times people don't like, they don't like the internet, it's blah, 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 it's toxic, yeah. But it's also funny and it also gives people an outlet to really like express themselves and show people that it's one way to do things but there's a million other ways to do it. And I love that. As long as you're staying on the positive side, like, hmm. I'm vibing with it. I think it's cool. Um, I'm ready for fall to be wrapped up, though. Time to wrap it up. It's only November, and I have had it. Like, well, no, because I've had it at nighttime. During the morning time, it's actually kind of chill. It feels kind of, feels kind of snug. But like, once it starts getting later in the day, I just can't take it. This is an unpopular opinion. It's not even really to fall nothing. But I do not like ballet flats. I don't care. They've always been ugly. Yeah, some girls saw them cute, but you never get me dead in a pair of flats. Because I just don't get it. I don't. And I refuse to be easily influenced. And y'all, that's what y'all need to realize, that y'all are too easily influenced. Not, wait, not me trying to lecture y'all. Let me chill. Let me chill out. You do you, girlfriend. But I just think at the end of the day, it's just important that you just... Just know yourself. Just know yourself. Every trend is, you know, every trend is not that girl. Every trend does not be, need to be in your closet. But that's just me though. Maybe I'm just saying that because I'm hating because I can't buy every trend. Girl, if you can buy every trend, girl, go ahead, girl. But I think it's always important to just differentiate what you actually like and what you don't like. If you see somebody else on your side, oh my god, that's so cute. But just really think to yourself. Is it really cute? Is it, you know, and then that really tells me right for wrong, if I'm being honest. You know, a fashion trend, a fashion trend that I kind of like, kind of don't like for fall are these puff print, TikTok, blah de blah de blah, t-shirts and graphic t-shirts. But, I don't like the hoodies. But when you get down to the pants and they got the little flare on the end, I like that. I like that. I don't know if, like, I want to see kind of... I've seen just the flares with the flare with the no the sweatpants with the flare on and with the little different design and I don't like that one. I like the basic like the mohair ones are cute and then also the um yeah the regular sweat ones are cute too. But they gotta be thick. I don't want the I guess like the gallery department ones. I don't like those like the ones with the little it has like a different color on the paneling on the side. If you know you know. If you don't know. Now you know, now you know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Dang, how do y'all do these mukbangs and talk? Like, I don't want y'all all up in my mouth, you know? But I want to eat and talk to y'all at the same time. This is hard. Maybe they don't talk. Do they talk in mukbangs? Yeah, they do. Duh. Duh. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Let me tell you what I got in here. It's called a rice bowl, a healthy rice bowl. I got it with salmon. Come with and broccoli and bell peppers and onions. And yellow rice. But I don't get um I put no tomatoes on there. I don't like tomatoes. <sighs> I thought I would grow out of that, but I did it. Tomatoes just don't hit for me. Never have, never will. But alright y'all, I wrapped it up for this video yo 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 yo. I feel like once I start being more consistent with 
this, then I'll be able to talk more about my opinion. So I feel like a lot of times I don't really have an opinion. I'll be like, oh no, I don't like that. Or I'll be like, oh, okay, I like that. But that's about it. I don't sit there and just know every little detail about fashion and all this other stuff. But if anybody asks, I am a, an accredited stylist. Um, like I said, I, I got two degrees in this. Um, I went to FIT and then I went to SCAD and then and then I did a trip around Europe and I met um I met Virgil and he showed me the way and and I was a model in Pharrell's most recent um campaign or whatever. Yep. So if anybody asked, I did all that. That's my resume. That's my resume. That's my resume right there. So if anybody asks me, if anybody asks you, just tell them the exact same thing I'm saying. Cause what can I say? Can I be like, no, you ain't do that. Girl, do you have proof? No, you don't exactly. So shoo! thank y'all again for watching this video. I really kind of liked it. I can't wait till I formulate more fashion opinions so I can tell y'all exactly how I feel about stuff. And yeah, comment down below what fashion trends you love for fall. Even though this is kind of all over the place, but give me some fashion trends you love that you rocking with, that you not rocking with. And let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I agree or disagree. And if I disagree, it's okay. Because we can't agree on everything. And that's alright with me.